and then to a dedicated personal computer. It's a cheap video camera uh, because it was developed for security reasons, but it works very well. It's a color system and we can focus it. Uh, also in this box, we have an experiment. And uh, the experiment here is a candle drop experiment, which will be performed in a few minutes. And this experiment will consider what happens when a candle is in free fall. Will it be the same? Will something different? Will something be different? Is the physics different? Let's see what happens. Uh, drop tower operator? Drop tower operator, yeah. She had, what is your function in this operation? I'm the experimental specialist. The experimental specialist. John, what is your function in this operation? I'm the IT administrator. The IT administrator. Does that mean the manager? Uh, yes, as well. <laughs> okay. Good for you. Good for you. So before we conduct the experiments as such, let's very, very briefly look at what the experiments are. The first experiment that we'll conduct is the candle drop experiment. This, is, of course, is a combustion experiment. And please remember the... Um, that the combustion processes in the Earth are dominated by gravity. That is to say, in a candle, the less dense gases ascend to the top. Um, and this is a classical convection situation. The air is sucked in here in the bottom, and combustion occurs, the less dense gases move to the top. It's convection. Now, when we are in a microgravity environment, a freefall environment, things are different, as you will see. John, could you start the operations, please? Okay, let's check all the equipment. So, so Carla is lighting the candle. As mentioned, John is coordinating this exercise. And John has devised a Protocol. Equipment specialist, close the box. The camera is working. So the seal the box. Make sure the camera is in the correct orientation towards the wall. Hand it to drop specialist. Change the position of the camera. Take the position next to the drop switch. Position box. So the bo experimental box is being attached. Near the area the where the box is attached. The area is being cleared. And Three, we start the countdown. Two, one, drop. And the box drops. So what happens? We've seen the box dropping. Uh, the candle flame, by the way, has been extinguished. But what actually happened during the free fall? What about the microgravity? What about the physics, the underlying physics? So let's look at the video footage. Slightly tilted. And for this exercise, Joao is going to kill the lights, so we're going to set a contrast. And let, let's see what happens. So at this point, I would invite John to bring us to the very start of the drop, and then we can look at what happens. So the real time? Uh, let's look at it in slow motion first. Okay. So John is taking us through this frame by frame. By the way, this camera produces 15 frames per second. So we can see what happens in slow motion. So this is our, our candle thing. This, by the way, is just a reflection, so forget about that. Now, John, perhaps you could cue us as to when the st the drop starts, the precise instant when the drop starts. It's almost there. Okay, we're there. Getting okay, That's so... Perfect. Okay, so go through it one frame at a time, please. Okay, look. Carry on, John. Okay. What's happening? Is it getting brighter or dimmer? Dimmer. It's getting dimmer. Has the morphology changed? Is it still a perfect tear-shaped morphology or something else? It's something else. Okay. In fact, it's forming a ball, a small ball. It's got this spherical structure, and there's an underlying physical reason why this happens. Now, John, are we getting close to the end of the drop? I'll let you know when it hits the bubble wrap and then when it hits the foam. Okay. Now, you can see something's happening here. It seems that the... Yes. You see, there's no That's transformation. Yeah. It's actually returning to, for the most part, its original shape. 
And then, John, what happens at the... That is where it hits the phone. That's the bubble wrap, and this is the phone. Okay. So, what does this all mean? Well, it means that the original T-shaped morphology is replaced by another morphology, a globular morphology. And the reason for this is physics. The conditions are changing in this free-fall environment, this environment uh, analogous to a microgravity environment. Gravity assists that buoyancy convection is being replaced by another process, diffusion. And diffusion sucks air from all directions, so we get this globular structure, and it's similar because diffusion is a much less efficient process with respect to buoyancy assistant, assisted gravity convection. So in this freefall environment, this microgravity environment, we see a physical transformation. The combustion physics is quite different. 